So here's a quick way to increase your application performance. Um, what we're going to do is create a new view object and we'll call this one join tables. Okay. It's based on an entity object and we're actually going to show all the information from employees but get some translations from the department and jobs tables. Okay, so take all the information about an employee and add a department name and job title from the tables that have the translation. Uh, next, next, here's the query. It's basically a join between three tables. Next, 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 expose it in our application module, click finish. So this is the normal way that you might be creating view objects. Next thing you might be doing is creating a page to use this view object. So create a new JSF page, call it join click OK and from our data control we're going to take this join tables view drag it into our page let's show it as a form we'll do a read only form and what I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to show all the information that I have about an employee I'm just actually going to show his first name and last name in this page and let's do navigation controls so here's our page and we can click save and we can run it so the interesting thing now would be to go and look at the actual SQL statement that is being sent to the database. How do you do that? You can go into your WebLogic log window. There's an action menu here, and you can configure the Oracle Diagnostic Logging. Okay. If you start expanding down here under Oracle, you'll see something called Oracle JBO. That's actually Java Business Object, which is the first name uh, that we had for what is now known as ADF Business Component. And we'll switch this to be finest and click save. All right. So now we can go to our page. Here's our page. Let's reload it. Okay. Like this. Here's the data. Let's go back into JDeveloper and increase the size of our log window and over here you can actually see the SQL statement. So it still does the join between three tables even though we are just picking information from the employee table. And this is understood because this is the way that your view object is defined. However, there's a little trick that will allow JDeveloper to make this view more efficient. Go into your view object definition. Under query, there's a little edit button here, click on it, and switch your view object from a normal mode to declarative mode. Okay, and then click OK. What you can see is that the query has basically disappeared. What JDeveloper or ADF is actually going to do is at runtime, based on the fields that are being used from this view object, ADF is going to construct the needed query. You would want to do one more thing here. If you actually look at the attributes, okay, um, there's a property for each attribute called selected in query, which by default is true. What you want to do is choose all your attributes and then you can do a global change from selected in query true to false. So by default, they are not selected. They are only selected if they are needed. Click save, you can compile everything. Okay. Let's look at the log again clear. Let's go to our page and reload it. Okay, let's look at the SQL. And what you can see here, we have a much simpler SQL now that our page generated. So only from the employee table. Much more efficient, much less network traffic.